Welcome to a little tutorial about the new scene visibility functionality available until Unity 2019.1. The scene visibility feature is a neat hierarchy extension for Unity editor. It gives you fine-grained control over which objects are hidden or displayed in the scene view. It also comes with an isolate function that reminds a little bit of the new prefab editor. Many of you won't need a tutorial about this topic, but there are some details I want to talk about. Also, for dollar free patronage, you can download this beautiful scene, including all used meshes and textures. Feel free to use the assets in your own game. Speaking of which, I want to say thanks to our patrons who help us to make these tutorials and our game codex possible. A special thanks goes to Simon Zineda, David Heinzel, Erich Gangel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Reinhard Bauer, Maximilian Heinle, and Mr. Giamatti. Thank you so much for your support. If you like our tutorials, then please support us on Patreon as well. Now let's jump into the video. Toggle Visibility Until Unity 2019.1, the hierarchy window has been extended with a small new column on the left side. This column displays the visibility state of each item in the hierarchy. With simple mouse clicks, you can hide and show single objects in the scene. If you want to temporarily undo the hidden objects, you can click on the new toggle button in the scene view, look at your scene as a whole and revert the visibility states afterwards. Please note that the visibility state has no effect to your game, so unintended behavior in your game because of hidden objects can be ruled out. My personal favorite is the scene toggle button. Clicking on that hides or displays all objects in the scene with a single click. It's not necessary to load or unload scenes via the scenes context menu anymore. It gets a little bit more complicated when it comes to parent and children relations. You may have noticed the two shiny boxes here. For demonstration purposes, those boxes represent parents for the top and the bottom boxes. Often it's necessary to hide an object including its children. Simply toggling the parent's visibility only affects the state of the parent box and leaves the child boxes untouched. You have to hold ALT in order to go down the hierarchy recursively. Here is an overview of the icons. An opened eye means that the object and all its children are visible. A crossed eye indicates that the object as well as its children are hidden. A small arrow on the right bottom corner shows that one or more children have a different visibility state to the parent. An opened eye with a small arrow features that the object itself is visible, but some of its children are hidden. On the other hand, a crossed eye with a small arrow implies that the object is hidden, but some children are still displayed. Just play around a little bit. It gets really natural after time. Scene visibility shortcuts. As mentioned in the intro of the tutorial, there's also a kind of hidden isolate feature. Yet, there is no access through the editor UI and it's only available via shortcuts, which have to be set up manually. Open the new shortcut manager with Edit Shortcuts. Follow the link in the description below for an explanation about how to use the shortcut manager in detail. For now, select Scene Visibility from the Category column, double-click on Isolate Selection and press Alt-I. Next, double-click on Isolate Selection and Children and hit Ctrl-Alt-I. You just map the isolate functions to your own custom shortcuts. Of course, with the shortcut manager, you can rearrange all the other Unity editor functions to new key combinations. Have fun and boost your productivity. Isolate objects. Now, select the top parent box and hit Alt-I. The box is isolated from the other objects of all open scenes. This reminds a little bit of the new prefab editor, except that you are operating on local scene instances instead of project-wide prefabs. Hit Ctrl-Alt-I to isolate the box and its children from the rest. Lastly, quit the isolation view with the exit button. In my opinion, the isolate feature unleashes its full potential when you ignore the hierarchy on the left and instead totally concentrate on your scene. Just select the objects you want to fine-tune, switch into isolate mode, make your changes exit isolation, focus on another problematic constellation, and so on and so forth. The scene visibility functions in a nutshell. Toggle visibility by the icons on the left in the hierarchy. 
Toggle an object and its children by holding Alt while clicking. Toggle whole scenes with a single click. Enable the isolate feature by mapping the commands to shortcuts with the new shortcut manager. Isolate selected objects and fine tune your scene. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our newsletter, support us on Patreon and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day. It's your sensei.